a shop sells three pens for six dollars and five files for eight dollar. Andy bought nine more files than pens and spent an equal amount of money on the pens and the files. How many pens and how many files did he buy all together? Okay, so first of all, let's compare the difference between this example and the previous example. In the previous example, you are given that the number of flowers in both colors are the same. Alright, and when you we are given this keyword, you have to find a common multiple of 5 and 9. By example 3, okay, the question says that Andy spent an equal amount of money on the pens and the files. So can we a guess, right? Do you find a common multiple of 3 and 5? No, right? Because these are actually the number of the pens and the files. Okay, you do not need to find a common multiple of 3 and 5 because the question did not say that Andy brought an equal number of pens and files. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, instead, we need to find a common multiple of $6 and $8. Okay, and so this will be $24 and this will be one group. Right, it's because that the question says that Andy spent an equal amount of money on the pens and the files. So that's why we have to make the multiples of 6 and 8 to be the same. Okay, so now $24 Alright, we need to find out how, much, how many pens will cost $24. To do that, alright, since we know that $6 can actually buy 3 pens, so $24 will, will be able to buy 12 pens. Okay, you know why, right? Because when you multiply here by 4, here also must times 4. Okay, they will do the same thing for the files. Since $8 can buy 5 files, so $24 will be able to buy 15 files. Alright, and so what do you do next? Okay, look at the question here. Andy brought 9 more files and pens. Okay, so once again, you've got to apply the difference concept. Okay, so inside one group, the difference between the files and the pens is 3. So how many groups will you need in order to get 9? Yes, the, right, the answer is 3 groups. Okay, so you will need 3 groups in order to get 9 more files than pens. Alright, so now the question asks for the number of pens and files that Andy brought all together. Okay, to do that, you need to take 12 plus 15. Okay, to find inside one group how many pens and files you have. So this will be the number of items in one group. And since there are 3 groups, the answer will be 27 times 3 which is 81 pens and files.